it is time for yet more LEGO. I've actually uh, quite enjoyed doing some LEGO reviews the last few months, so I thought I'd crack this one open, which I've kind of been sat on for about two years now. Not not literally, obviously, because the box is still in pretty good condition. But this is actually, uh, well, quite frankly, one of the coolest sets I've ever seen, because um, I'm rather fond of Ghost Rider and Hobgoblin there, and, you know, Spider-Man's cool as well. And it's quite rare, actually, to find a LEGO set with, like, 66% of the, you know, minifigs. Uh, ones you actually really, really want, as opposed to, hey, I'll get that, because the set looks cool or whatever. So, we'll take a quick look at the box, and then I'll go ahead and assemble it, and we can actually take a proper look. But, this is just themed after Marvel Spider-Man. Um, it's not, you know, any particular iteration, uh, as you can tell. And this is called the Spider-Man Ghost Rider Team-Up which has happened in the comics quite a few times. Uh, that's the scale of Spider-Man there. Uh, that's a brief upside-down picture. Um, and yeah, here's the back, just kind of showing you what comes with the set and stuff. Uh, there's um, there's a super jumper thing, I never really understood that. Like, surely if you're going to play with the Lego things, you could just, you know, make the guy jump yourself. Like, that just seems chaotic, but I don't know. Um, you know, you've got the minifigs there, you've got some uh, post boxes, which are quite cool. Uh, oh yeah, and the Hobgoblins uh, glider and stuff. And of course, there's a comic book included, which I, um, you know, I guess will be interesting to read or whatever. So, yeah, um, as with my uh, Guardians ship from Infinity War thing, I'm just going to do a um, time-lapse video of me building it. It might take a little bit longer, but I don't know, that doesn't matter to you guys anyway. I will see you back in about two or three minutes. Oh, and I'll put the name of the song at the bottom there, just so you guys know.
Alright, I'm back and as you can see everything is built. Uh, we've also got a couple, couple extra things off to the side there. We've got the um, translucent jumper thing for Spider-Man. I'll never understand these pieces. I don't know if they're still in play sets these days but you know, they're not very useful. And we have a leftover leak and a bone as well which is uh, very useful for other mocks or ever, you know. Um, bones always come in handy I guess. And as you can see here we have the um, three aspects of here. So uh, I'm going to start off with this bit first. This is the kind of like street corner I guess. I've got a bin. Um, I would open it up but actually no I, I will open it up. And inside we have the bone and the leak. There's probably room for another bone or another leak in there. Uh, or you know whatever you want really. Um, and inside of course, oh there's a corner come off. Alright then, so I'm back uh, as you can see. So these are the mailboxes. You've got little uh, stickers on the side there. I'm not going to take the lamppost off. And of course these do open up and inside are like little bundles of newspaper basically. Or that's what the uh, sticker makes them look like anyway. So you know, you can like open that up and make it all look all messy and stuff. And of course we have the street light with 2nd Avenue and Bleecker Street. Uh, I've put Spider-Man there because, you know, it kind of fits. Uh, but yeah, we got a pretty nice traffic light or whatever. This is obviously based on like a New York American-y type thing. So admittedly, um, you know, it doesn't look like street signs or traffic lights anywhere where I'm from. Uh, Spider-Man does come with this little web thing, which is cool, but it's about as heavy as he is. You can't really stand him up easily holding it, but I think this is a good position to put him at, kind of, you know, make him look like he's doing everything a spider can. So, uh, next up, we have, I think, my favourite minifig from this, which is the Hobgoblin. I've always been quite a big fan of Hobgoblin. Uh, so it's actually nice to see, you know, a minifig of him. So I'm going to remove the hood for a second. He does indeed have two uh, faces. So he's got his kind of like evil mad uh, stare. He's angry. And that one. I prefer that one because he looks kind of happy but still deranged. Comes the pumpkin head and some fire effects. I think they're shown at the back as being like things you put on the floor or whatever, but it makes more sense in a hold one, really. Uh, and yeah, his printing's really cool. I love his cape. It's all like tattered and torn and stuff, and I don't know, it just, it's really nice. I also love the colour scheme. Like orange, orange and blue go fantastic together. I love the colour orange. Also, a fascination with pumpkins. I don't know why. Uh, and of course, he does come with his glider as well, which is really well made, actually. it's um, It didn't look like much from the box, but putting it together and everything, which is cool. It does have those um, missile things. It doesn't go very far. There's no, like, component. I guess you flick them to make them go really far. I'm not going to do that because guaranteed it'll go down the side of this bed or something. So, yeah, that's the uh, Hobgoblin and his glider. Obviously, these move. These also move a little bit, but, you know, you don't want to put it too much, because otherwise it just knocks him out of there. So, uh, up last, and definitely not least, is another build I'm actually more impressed with than I thought. So we've got little fire things there to kind of put, you know, on the floor. And we have our boy, played famously by Nicolas Cage, Ghost Rider. Actually, I'm going to pull him out of there. Uh, we'll take a look at him and then his bike. So, Ghost Rider, gotta say, is another minifig that I'm so happy they made. He uh, he looks a bit kind of like cartoony, um, if that makes sense. But then, I think he's just the right, you know, right design. You can see the flames coming through his jacket there. He doesn't have double printing because this head is a solid mould. I thought the fire would be something you put on top of him. Apparently not. But yeah, he's got his little chain around him and stuff, goes around to the back. His legs are um, plain black. You know, I kind of expected a bit more, but whatever. And this is a really cool piece, this little chain thing here. Like, it's, um, again, really impressed because they could have just gone with a, um, with like a silver chain or something. But the fact they made it actually, you know, on fire and stuff is fantastic. And of course, the piece de resistance and 
the reason you'd buy this set really is Ghost Rider's bike, which looks incredible. Genuinely, genuinely impressed with this. So the fire, it looks a little bit awkward from some angles, especially like straight on, they look kind of like wings, if that makes sense. But you know, viewed from an angle or whatever, and obviously you can adjust these to however you'd like. Uh, you know, viewed from the correct angle, this looks really nice. And of course, because they're translucent as well, you know, they catch the light a little bit. And uh, yeah, the, the wheels, you know, turn fine. There's no like mechanism, like pullback mechanism or friction things, which I'm happy with actually because I remember years ago I'd buy some sets with that and it just got kind of annoying it weighed them down a bit and you know it meant you couldn't really like move it slightly you had to move it quite a bit so yeah this is a fantastic looking bike overall it's got little horns and stuff on it it's got this um, front piece which you can kind of alter I think you can move that down a bit or whatever and uh, yeah fire on each side a big hefty wheel and yeah, it, it's a build that comes together really well, I think. This is like another surprising aspect, kind of like um, Hobgoblin's Glider, that it looked a little bit basic. You kind of thought, you know, looking at the thing, I thought I knew exactly what was going to be in the set, but building, I don't know, is really, really fun. So um, I'm just going to uh, quickly change the angle just so we can have one more close-up and I'll end the review. Okay, sorry, um, before that, actually, I realised that uh, I hadn't actually looked at the comic book. So this is the little thing that comes with it. It's got Green Goblin on it for some reason, rather than Hobgoblin. I don't understand. Maybe that was the original plan for this set, but they went with Hobgoblin instead. Uh, you know, it's an interesting one. Uh, so, it's pretty basic. Um, I'm not going to show you all of it because, you know, I kind of feel bad that it's just taken away the content from the thing but you know as you can as you can see it's a it's a team up you know issue of the things these comics usually don't oh the vultures there okay interesting i wonder if this kind of ties into the um the other set then because i think there is a boat rescue thing with the vulture in or am i wrong i may be incorrect but yeah that's a bit confusing because his his glider actually so just to compare his glider is basically the same glider um as mr goblin's here mr hob goblin um d except the well yeah it's a different color the missiles are up like they're here instead of there i guess so you've got a smaller glider uh, Spider-Man's the same. Also, I realised we didn't really take a look at the Spider-Man minifig. Um, he's he's pretty standard, to be honest. Like, it's, um, you know, nothing really major. It's, he, it's a cool minifig to have, but these two are definitely why I bought it, not Spider-Man. So, yeah, that's, um, well, that's an interesting one. I'll have to look into that, actually, because... I think if this set came with Green Goblin, not Hobgoblin, I'd have been less likely to buy it, just because, well, this boy, this boy right here, is, uh, he's lovely. And anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will be doing other videos again at some point in the future, so um, until next time, goodbye.